Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well, I hope you're staying safe. Today I have a little bit of a different style video for you. I know you all love the vlogs and I love the vlogs too, but Alina and I have been wanting to shake up our channel a little bit. So today I'm super excited because we're gonna tackle organizing my childhood closet. So basically, hi if you're new here, my name is Michelle. I'm a 20-something who usually is living and working in NYC. I work in social media marketing for a beauty brand, but currently am in quarantine in Montana in my family's home. Now that I've been in Montana for a couple months in my old childhood bedroom, I, I feel like the urge to nest is definitely coming in. I wanna decorate, I wanna organize, I wanna make the space a little bit more my own. There's also a lot of clutter in my old closet and in my old room in general because it's all of the things that I didn't deem important enough to move with me from Montana to New York when I moved a couple years ago. But then add in the entire suitcase of clothes that I brought with me and it's just, it's a lot, it's a whole mess. So today we're gonna have a very therapeutic organize my closet with me video and I hope you guys enjoy. I know it's super satisfying to watch other people clean so we're doing that today but I think it should be extra interesting because a lot of the clothes that I'm going to declutter are clothes that I didn't even take with me to New York so they definitely need to I'm also really getting the urge to redecorate this space because I've been here for a while probably gonna be here for a little while longer and I think environment makes such a big difference to your mood and your sense of self and just feeling at home in a certain space so I think I really want to redo this bedroom because it needs a lot of work so with that being said let's get into the video all right y'all we're outside my closet door let's open it up see what we've got to work with <sighs> yeah it's a hot mess. You can't even walk in anymore because there's just clutter everywhere. Um, yeah. We got our work cut out for us, ladies. Okay, friends, I'm having major deja vu because I filmed a closet video where I'm standing in this exact position right before I moved to New York from Montana after graduating college. And it's so funny because I never... I never thought I'd be in this position again, like living at home in this space, filming a declutter video. It's just wild. Also, I'm probably very hideously backlit right now, but let's get on in. I think I want to start out by just grabbing everything and throwing it on the floor. We're not going quite full Marie Kondo today just because I know myself and I'll just wear myself out and then we'll leave this room a big old mess. So we're gonna take out the majority of the things that are in here and sort through my clothes and uh, hopefully create a lot more space, a lot more order and just get rid of those old demons, you know what I mean? The ghosts of clothes past. I also do need to refold quite a bit of clothes that are up here, so we're just gonna throw them out. I also have quite a few of these bins that I'm going to sort through, so we're gonna pop these down here as well. Okay guys, this is what my floor looks like right now. Definitely uh, a process, so let's do it. All right, so where to even begin? with such a mess. This is almost more overwhelming than doing just a regular closet declutter video. I'm finding old t-shirts from high school in here. This is just so <laughs> much to deal with. Crazy 2017 camp t-shirt. Bunch of old Christmas pajamas that I don't quite know what to do with. I guess I'll start by grabbing things I know I don't want to get rid of. So this cute Christmas sweater that I just bought this past Christmas is definitely staying. I only wore it a couple times. It's from H&M. So we're going to fold that up nicely, set it aside. I'm also going to do the same with the clothes that I brought with me from New York for quarantine. I don't know about you guys and how you're doing. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe. For me, I think this week and I guess the last couple of weeks have been really hard emotionally and mentally. Not so much that I'm not happy. I, I have a lot of time for myself being in quarantine. I enjoy working from home. I'm safe. I'm healthy. I have a loving family. I get to be quarantined with my sister, who's my best friend. And I'm in Montana, which is beautiful. I get to enjoy the outdoors. But the biggest thing for me has been trying to decide whether to go back to New York and if it makes sense for like the rest of the year 
to even go back to New York and if we want to go back to New York when will we go back to New York and trying to figure out paying rent and putting our stuff in storage finding an apartment from here it's just that is mainly what's stressing me out and that is a very privileged thing to be able to say but it is hard feeling like you're in between two places that's been mainly what's been stressing me out lately is trying to make that decision and like figuring out when is the right time to go back to New York I don't think they'll ever will be a right time in the next year or so so it's just it's a lot it is a lot to have to deal with and it is really painful to have to see your home go, go through something so traumatic but I'm hoping the simple act of organizing my closet will make this space feel more like home again so that's what we're doing kids I encourage you to do the same I'm finding things that are obvious no's this sweater is really really old it's from H&M I don't really like how the fabric feels the cream is a little bit too yellowy it kind of like just washes me out not in a great way so we're gonna throw that across the room in a very organized fashion because it is a very clear no this skirt I don't think I've ever worn it so that is another no this running zip up is an extra small so it's far too small for me now I am so sad because I love the color I love the cut of it I loved everything about it but it's just too small for me right now so I'm gonna throw that across the room as well this pair of leggings very old haven't worn them in ages that is a no. These marble athleta leggings are super cute, but they just aren't, they just don't really look good on me. So I think that's gonna have to be a no, or maybe I'll give them to my mom, maybe she'll wear them. A couple of sleep t-shirts that are just really tiny. We're getting rid of those too. I think this tiny high school shirt is going to have to go to it's discolored and kind of gross. And I will say I will be donating all of this stuff to Goodwill. I only throw away things that are either really damaged or gross, like underwear. So <laughs> just FYI, I don't really like selling my clothes. It's just a lot of work and usually it just like doesn't really make sense and I'd rather just donate them. I really want to try to color coordinate the clothing that I do have. I don't have a lot of clothes with me. That's one thing that has been hard being here and not in New York is just not even having the option to wear cute clothes. This is Aline's sweater which I love um, and these little overall shorts are new so that was like a recent a recent addition to the wardrobe um but i just i don't have a lot with me and it definitely impacts like my mood to just not be inspired by my clothing at the end of the day it's not that big a deal and i've just been fine being comfy but it would be nice to have the option to wear some cute clothes now and again again high school sweatshirt Yes, my high school was called Hellgate, so fun fact for you. I have lots of Christmas sweaters, which I think are fun to leave here because I usually am home for the holiday. I do like the concept of using these bins for Christmas sweaters because obviously that's not something that you need on hand all the time. Oh my god, TBT to this lovely Victoria's Secret sweater that says Angel on it. I actually got this in a vlog that I made. Aline and I used to have a vlog channel, a separate vlog channel from this channel and one of my first vlogs I like went to the mall and like bought this Victoria's Secret sweatshirt and thought I was so cool. So I've got nothing so far. It's not going very well and I just got really really tired. I'm just gonna stop by Victoria's Secret and then I'm gonna go. Ta-da. So this is the sweatshirt that I got. I thought it was so cute. Oh wow. So many memories. It's a small, so I don't want to keep it. Also, Victoria's Secret, I don't agree with their morals. I've been thinking a lot about clothes and my style recently because what else are you gonna keep yourself busy with besides like having an existential crisis and a panic attack at the same time? And I really want to amp up my style in the next year. Obviously, there isn't really a reason to look cute, but it just feels good and it's fun and I don't know, I just like haven't been very inspired with the way I've been dressing. Not even just my quarantine wardrobe, which obviously is just like leggings and like a sweater, um, nothing groundbreaking, but even just before that, the way that I was like dressing and expressing myself, I really wasn't being intentional with the way that I dress. I would always feel really good if I went to like an event or went out to brunch with Gabby and I could spend more time on my outfits, but I'm just talking day to day, Monday through Friday at work, I would just get out of bed, throw on like a turtleneck and jeans and go. I just think back to how I was presenting myself and I'm just like not into, into what I was doing. 
and this time has definitely made me uh, reflect on just being more intentional and being more in the moment and I think that's like a small slight positive <laughs> to take away from this. This sweater is from H&M. Again, it's too yellowy and I just never wear it. It does not spark joy for me. I did find this sweater in my old closet, which I think I do like, so that's fun. I don't know if I like it or if I'm just that bored with my current selection in Montana at the minute. And this one's cute too, this like little crab sweater. I think it could be fun. But yeah, those were some fun finds in the good old wardrobe. Lots of old pajamas that I just haven't been dealing with. They're like all smalls, so I feel like I should just get rid of them and they're also very old. There was one Christmas where I swear I bought a pair of pajamas every week which is quite reckless. I don't know what I was going through that year but it wasn't good. Okay now I have a whole bin to put winter pajamas in that actually fit. It feels nice. It honestly feels like I'm not being weighed down by all of this clutter um, that I wasn't wearing and wasn't using. So I'm, I feel really good about it, honestly. This was just definitely what I needed because I have had not a great last few days. Okay, so right now I have these four organized piles of things to keep, a big, huge pile of things to get rid of, and this little pile of things I might try on to see if they still fit. And this is a whole bag of things that I previously decided to get rid of as well. Found more things to get rid of, so I'm very excited. This is a onesie that is far too small nowadays. So getting rid of that, and then this lovely poncho that is very out of style. So, making progress, guys. So I've made a lot of progress. I went through my scarves, shoes, mittens, everything, <laughs> basically. I haven't worn it in years, and it doesn't fit, and it doesn't quote unquote bring me joy. It's going. It's also been so much easier to make these cuts than it usually is because this is stuff that I obviously haven't worn for two years and I haven't missed, so I will say that. Highly encourage going through your closet at your family's home. It's so therapeutic and definitely not as time consuming simply because there aren't as many paralyzing decisions to make. Took out some shoes that are worn out that I'm going to get rid of. And then in here, still not great, but a lot better. I can actually like walk. And in here I have a few hats. And here I got a single scarf, so it's so much less clutter. Here is just like a lot of trash. And this scented packet exploded and there's like all of these little rocks everywhere now, so that's not cute. So gotta clear this out. Random British bear. Gonna put him back there. I put my camera bag on this shelf and down here there are some like little towel guys that I don't know if I should keep. So far so good. Here are all of my folded piles. Put back my bins and only these two have clothes in them. This one and this one are completely empty. I've been sorting through this stuff back here which is always like hard because I've got a lot of like occasion dresses that are hard to part with but you know I don't wear them and they don't really fit anymore so there's that. But I got rid of a few things so far. This stuff right here in the plastic is all stuff that my mom put in here, so I need to ask her what she wants to get rid of and what she wants to keep. Right here's our bag for our softbox lights, which I need to put under the bed again. Floor is cleaned, looks... Oh, night and day. I think I'm going to take down these really cheesy fashion posters. They're not really my vibe anymore. I found a bunch of travel-sized goodies in this little bag. Some of them can definitely go. This wrinkle remover is all out. Some really good things, honestly. A little Aveeno moisturizer. This One Direction perfume looks foul, so I'm gonna throw that out. It also has floating skin particles in it, so that's not cute but there's definitely some trash in here that i can get rid of the closet looks so much better you guys i can't get over it it's so much more organized there's so much more space i can actually like walk in i consolidated all the bags threw away all the garbage that was in here did a little vacuum on the floors and yeah 
I'm super excited about it. Also, took off the posters, so it looks so much better, so much cleaner, and less busy. I'm overall very happy that I did this. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay, everybody, so we've got not one, not two, but three and a half trash bags full of clothes that I'm donating to Goodwill. So exciting. We did it. And just like that, we're wrapping it up now with a much more organized closet. I feel like a new woman. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I feel way less bogged down by just massive amounts of things that I don't need and don't use. So definitely would recommend to give your wardrobe a good sort out if you're in need of one. If you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a cheeky thumbs up because that makes me really happy. And also let me know down below in the comments if you'd be at all interested in seeing a little room makeover because this room really needs it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and please stay safe and take care of your during this really scary time. I know it can be really overwhelming, but I'm right there with you, sending you all the good vibes. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye.